question is, when can we finally <laughs> see some of that sunshine? Meteorologist Yvonne Schell is here with hopefully an answer to that question. I think we're all wondering. Yes, Kamal, but it'll be delayed until we see some of that sunshine. And I'll show you the reason why. We're still dealing with a significant amount of rain areas along the western edge of the island. And for Metro Vancouver, it's going to be soggy as we get in towards our Sunday. First off, we're sitting at 8 degrees. We've got that easterly wind at 19 kilometers per hour. There's that wave of moisture. Some of the heavier rain right now just along the west end. We're seeing breaks in towards the Fraser Valley, but we're not out of the clear just yet. It'll continue. We've got the system, frontal system, that's pushing its way along the south coast, and that's what's bringing us that rainfall. Now, overnight tonight with the rain, temperatures will be down to 6. Through the day tomorrow, we've got an additional 15 and up to 25 millimeters, and the winds continue to be a big weather story through the afternoon hours. Tomorrow, we've got those gusts of up to 50 kilometers per hour. Rainfall amounts as we look ahead by tomorrow night, higher amounts along the North Shore Mountains, and the area of concern is the western regions of the island. We still have a rainfall warning that is in effect that will go in towards this evening. We could see up to 100 millimeters in the winds, picking up with gusts of up to 80 kilometers per hour. If you're traveling along the mountain passes, we do have the snow level anywhere between 1,000 and 1,500 meters. And the sea to sky tomorrow, it'll be rain, but areas near Brandywine could still see up to 4 centimeters of snowfall. Flurries along the Coquihalla as well as the Rogers Pass, but through the day tomorrow, Allison Pass with up to 5 centimeters in afternoon and evening along the Kootenai Pass with accumulating snowfall between 5 and up to 10 centimeters. So check in with drivebc.ca for the latest road conditions. Coastal areas tomorrow, highs up to 8. A few breaks in there for Prince Rupert. Much of the central and southern half of the province will be tracking some instability. And with it, there is the risk of thunderstorms and we'll see those winds pick up anywhere with gusts between 40 and up to 50 kilometers per hour. Thompson Okanagan between 13 and 15 degrees. Whistler, it's the areas near Brandywine that we could see some of that accumulating snowfall across the island, the lower mainland. It'll be a blustery one through the day tomorrow with that rainfall anywhere between 15 and up to 25 millimeters. Now, I wanted to note Monday night or Sunday night into Monday morning, it'll be cold enough. Higher elevations could actually still see a few wet flurries in the mix. And then as we get in through the day, it'll be a chance of showers for most areas. A brief break for Tuesday night. The bright spot, Kamal, looks like we have to be a few days out. So far, it looks to be Thursday. Ooh, Partly patience, cloud. patience, patience. All 14. right, we'll wait. <laughs> okay, thanks, Yvonne. Returning to Vancouver.